Hello, and welcome to Make a Difference, the show about how volunteers are making a difference every day here in Montgomery <coughs> County. I'm your host, Lorraine Driscoll. Today, we'll discuss how people can volunteer to provide answers to local area residents who call to request help in understanding their options under Medicare, such as their eligibility, coverage, enrollment in Medicare, and related insurance plans. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Make a Difference. I'm your host, Lorraine Driscoll. With me today is Rafael Espinosa, Director of the State Health Insurance Program at Jewish Council for the Aging in Montgomery County. Rafael, thanks for joining us. Thank you for being here. So we're here today talking about the State Health Insurance Assistance Program and the, the way that you can help people in the community who have questions about Medicare and how people can volunteer. Um, but first, why don't we start out, tell me what does the State Health Insurance Assistance Program do? Um, what we do is basically um, help our, our Medicare beneficiaries mm -hmm. in Montgomery County uh, to answer all the questions in regards to their Medicare uh, question, uh, issues. Mm -hmm. So what are some typical questions that you might get from, from callers? <laughs> the, the most common one is actually when they uh, ask if they want to be enrolled or they need to be enrolled in Part B. Mm. Uh, that's a very uh, good question. Um, we also uh, mentioned it depends on what is their situation, if they have any sort of insurance mm -hmm. and they're still working, maybe they don't need to be enrolled in Part B. But uh, Not yet. Right. Not uh -huh. yet. And, right. um, but it only depends on their personal situation. Uh -huh. And what are some other typical questions? Um, the other ones that we usually have is the Medigat supplemental uh, plans. Mm, which Medicare uh, supplemental should I get or why do I need it? Or correct. What, what uh, People are very concerned about Part B, mm -hmm. the 20 percent uh, um, mm -hmm. is actually the Medicare beneficiary responsibility. Right. So their concern is how they're going to cover uh, that important uh, part right. of the uh, cost. And the catastrophic cost, so that you help them figure out what sorts of other insurance is best for them. H help them navigate that and make choices. Correct. And uh, the Medigap plans, the supplemental plans are, uh, you know, designed to assist you not only with the 20% mm -hmm. coverage for Part B, but also with co-payments and deductibles. Mm -hmm. um, if you pick the, um, the plan that uh, actually fix your needs, you know, it's, right. it's, it's all based on what you need to cover um, and the coverage is based on also in how is your medical necessities and, and the kind of services that you're receiving. Right. So if people have questions about Medicare, how do they contact you? If For Montgomery County residents, you're the place people can call to answer these questions about making the right choices, figuring out their options. How do they reach you? Well, they call us um, and they leave us a message. Mm -hmm. um, usually they uh, leave us their name, mm -hmm. um, their phone number to be contact back, and they, their questions. Mm -hmm. and that gives us the opportunity to um, research a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when we return the call, we will have the answer that they were seeking for. Okay. And what phone number would someone who has questions about Medicare, what phone number would they call? Uh, they will be 301 250 Four two five five. Three oh one four I'm sorry, three oh one two five five four two five, five zero. zero. Okay. And so this program is staffed largely by volunteers. The the questions are answered largely by volunteers. Tell me about that. Um wh what we're looking at the volunteers as um, you know what what we're searching for volunteers uh, to help us is in answer all these questions that our Medicare um, residents have and we are looking for volunteers to help us out in different aspects of the program. Mm -hmm. um, so you said there's three different types of volunteers that you recruit. Yes, uh, we, we have, um, we need volunteers for office support, 
we need volunteers mm -hmm. for um, to become outreach uh, mm -hmm. and our program ambassadors and also we need volunteers to become our Medicare counselors. There's three aspects of volunteers that we're looking so for. So tell me about each of them. So the first one the first one is the office support is to help us with, you know, prepare um, information and do data entry, mm -hmm. um, everything related to the office and the administrative uh, area. And the outreach ambassadors or the program ambassadors will be uh, assigned to different uh, areas to reach out to different communities. Oh, so uh, they're out and about. They are, they are, that's the, the idea, to mm -hmm. send it out. You can't help people if they don't know you're there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and bring up information with them about, um, oh. about Medicare. So Some of these basic questions mm -hmm. that at least get people started. And also information basic materials. Info. That's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also we have the, um, our volunteers that uh, do counseling. Okay. It will be, you know, um, and those are the ones who return the phone call to every person who call us in regards to the Medicare situation. Okay. And so what training do you offer? for the counselors? Well, we have an uh, in-house training. Mm -hmm. You know, we train our people in, um, in-house. We go over uh, uh, different aspects of the Medicare program. As well, we have uh, our Medicare, um, you know, website um, through the state. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a SHIP uh, website where we you can take courses and also you can take uh, some sort of test over and see how knowledgeable you become in Medicare. Oh, so you can sort of learn and then sort of test and see, oh, wait, I need to learn a couple more things, and now I'm ready Correct. to ready and, to and then you can go back any time mm -hmm. and redo the test in case you say, mm, I forgot about this, and let mm. me go back. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not that you do it once and it's gone. No, right. you always can go back and review uh, you know, the courses. Mm -hmm. And that way, uh, and so I gather, so, y so people call and leave a message, and then you get back to them within a couple hours, a day, or whatever. Ah. And that, but then, so that means for a volunteer, it sounds like they can kind of pull the question and make sure they have the answer before they call the person back. Do they, is there somebody they can ask if they want to make sure if it's complicated? Yes, um, we have uh, resources in our office uh -huh. where, uh, you know, you can, do since it, this is a, a messaging system, uh, it gives you the enough time to check for the question, mm -hmm. and if the question kind of a little bit uh, difficult, what you can do, you research, mm -hmm. you do your research. Um, if the question becomes even if you cannot find or, no, mm -hmm. or you are not certain what the answer will be, you can always. Uh, you know, contact me. I'm oh. always available, uh, made myself available to uh -huh. uh, every volunteer to, uh, you know, to find out answer for every question that our Medicare uh, recipients. Uh -huh. And then uh, you were mentioning also that the sort of the volunteers help each other too. It sounds like a lovely community. Yes, uh, we have uh, uh, volunteers that have been in the program for quite some time mm -hmm. and they are very experienced and they also are available in case somebody who less experienced needs some a little sort of coaching, uh, and coaching and exactly and yeah and then they are always available as well mm -hmm. so where are you located uh, we are located here in Rockville okay um, it's near um, in between Twinbrook around Twin Twinbrook actually mm -hmm. in the area and so it's, uh, it sounds like it's in an office with a lot of other volunteer programs as yes, well. Yes, um, we are, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we are part of the U.S. Council for the Aging, uh -huh. JCA, and uh, JCA also have different other programs. And what we do, uh, if somebody calls us, and for instance, and additional to the Medicare mm -hmm. uh, issues, they also have some sort of, let's say, transportation. What we do, we refer them to our oh. uh, transportation programs that we handle in JCA. Right there at JCA, mm -hmm. great. So it sounds like a nice network. Um, and so what time do people volunteer? What days? When, when can people, if they're, look, if they're thinking about this? Um, we have actually Monday to Friday, and mm -hmm. you can volunteer uh, from 9.30 to 5, and uh, you can pick the hours that you uh, would like to, you know, join us and mm -hmm. do this volunteer work. So if you want to do morning, afternoon, and how flexible is it? We are very flexible. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to work it out uh, with uh, whatever whatever your situation is, and, mm -hmm. and if, if you have uh, some preference in terms of coming in, uh, we will work out with you. Great. So if someone wants to volunteer, how do they reach you? Well, they can actually call us to mm -hmm. uh, 301. 
4211 for volunteering. And then is there an email? We have an email. It's ship at accessjca.org. Terrific. Terrific. Um, so it sounds like a very rewarding experience. Tell me what when you t hear volunteers describe what makes why they enjoy doing it. You've mentioned you have some who've been doing it for many years. W what do people talk about? Well, and uh, I think the rewarding comes when uh, you you basically learn a lot about Medicare, and mm -hmm. in many occasions it's applicable to yourself. Mm -hmm. for, for one, uh, also uh, you make um, change or impact in a lot of a lot of people's lives mm -hmm. by helping them, you know, make the right decision in terms of the options for right. the Medicare uh, uh, Pick benefit. the one that makes sense for their situation mm -hmm. and make sure they're covered the way they ought to be covered. It makes you feel good, you know. Yeah. You, you're helping people and people depends on you and, and you are really helping the community. You know? Well, and it can feel so complicated and yet it seems like if you contact the ship, e the, the counselors can boil it down and um, help you make the complex doable. <laughs> right. And then you have the outreach counselors, so they're out and about. Yes, uh, we have the outreach counselors. Um, we do outreach uh, through the entire Montgomery County area. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we do events, we go into a uh, conference, we have set up tables, uh, sheet tables, mm -hmm. uh, with their providing um, medical materials, also answer questions if they have some questions in regards to Medicare. Uh -huh. um, you know, we, we go to fairs, we, we actually participate as well in the uh, Montgomery County Fair, mm -hmm. and we have and then a table. I'm sorry, and mm -hmm. then for people who understand the importance of like office functioning and data and all, you've got that role too. We do, we and, do. And so tell me, what are the busiest times of year for this? Um, our busiest time uh, will be in the open enrollment. Uh, because Which is when? in October 15 through December 7. Mm -hmm. um, what is the busiest, why it's become the busiest uh, time of the year is because uh, people, uh, that's the time where people uh, realize that they may need to change uh, prescription mm. drugs plans. Mm -hmm. um, also, they may change their Medicare Advantage plan. Mm. And then that's the time that they reach us for, uh, you know, for assistance. So they can get help assessing their best option. Correct, correct. And one of the um, uh, programs or um, projects that we have in SHIP in terms of uh, prescription drugs plan is the prescription drugs analysis. Mm. Um, we assign a specialized volunteers to do this analysis for our Medicare beneficiaries. Oh, that's great. And so you need more volunteers to support all that. So tell me, we're just about out of time. Thank you so much for coming oh, in no, today. Thank you. Can you tell us one more time, if someone wants to volunteer, how do they reach you? They can reach us at 301-255-4211. Um, uh, I'm sorry. 301-255-4211. We got it. All right. That's, we've given it good luck. Well, thank you so oh, much no, for coming you. in today. I really appreciate your help and your good information about telling people about this awesome volunteer opportunity to really help people. Oh, thank you. Um, so we've been talking today with Rafael Espinosa, Director of the State Health Insurance Assistance Program at Jewish Council for the Aging, about ways people can volunteer to help others in understanding their Medicare insurance options. For more information about volunteering in Montgomery County, please contact the Volunteer Center at 240 777-2600 or visit their website at montgomeryserves.org. And remember, as a volunteer, you can make a difference. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium.